Amen. Well, praise the Lord. It's so good to be with you here today on what the world needs is Jesus. Friend, what we need is the Lord Jesus Christ today. If you don't know Jesus, I urge you to find you an altar somewhere, somehow today and call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way. The life and the truth. He said, no man coming to the Father but by me, friend. We got to have the Lord Jesus Christ as our personal Savior. Friend, it, 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 it's not something that we just decide to do. It's not something that we just, well, it, it's an option. or say It's not an option, friend. You got to have him if you're going to go to heaven. Amen. And I want everybody to go to heaven. Praise the Lord. Glory to the Lamb. I, I, you don't want to go to that other place, amen. amen. Glory to God. I tell you what, I want you to go to heaven, amen. amen. If, and, and if you want to know what heaven's like, go over in, in, in uh, Revelation chapter 21 and just read the, I don't know, just, just start reading, yeah. amen. And you'll find out what heaven's just like, amen. And I, and I believe after you read that, you'll want to go there, amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. And then you'll know why we're so excited, oh, amen, yeah. about the Lord Jesus Christ. Friend, if you'd like to Find us on the on the web. You can find us on Facebook.com. What the world needs is Jesus. Also, you can find us on YouTube. Go to WOLW's playlist and hunt up what the world needs is Jesus. They also have other churches and, and other ministries that's on there that you can hunt up. I mean, just go to their go to WOLW's playlist, hunt up. Uh, what the world needs is Jesus. We're on twitter.com, World with Jesus. If you'd like to email us, you can email us at worldwithjesus at gmail.com. Friend, I trust that you know the Lord Jesus Christ is your Savior today. If you don't, Amen. I want you to find you an altar. Yes. Call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and let Jesus. In. Friend, that's what, Brother Larry, that's why we're here. Amen. We're here to tell you about Jesus. Yeah. If you don't, you know what? Not only, but you may say, well, Brother Ronnie, I'm saved. I'm, I, I'm on my way to heaven. Yeah. Well, good. I won't tell you about a Jesus that can help you in this life. Amen. Amen. He said, I'll give you life. And he said, I'll give it to you more abundant. Yeah. Friend, I, I believe now, now you can interpret that however you want to, but I believe that that life more abundant is I believe he's talking about giving us things here on this earth, amen. If we'll serve him, we were just talking about it, me and Brother Larry here before we started. If we'll serve him first, Come on. That's right. the Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Friend, if you'll seek him first, you won't have to worry about getting your needs met, amen. You, your needs will be met. You just make sure you seek God. You just make sure that God's work gets done. Amen. Make sure that you do what the Lord wants you to do. Friend, I want you to worship with Brother Ricky as he comes around and brings us the word. Glory. Brother Ricky. Hey, man, thank you, Brother Ronnie. Just like to say, I love the Lord this morning. I know I say it every week, but I love the Lord today, glory to God. He's my Savior. He, he's all in my life there is to be, amen. I love the Lord today. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, amen. Nobody comes unto the Father but by him. So that tells me you have to have Jesus today, amen. amen. You've got to have Jesus. Whoa. Jesus said, you believe in God, also believe also in me, amen. In my Father's house are many mansions, many mansions, amen. If I go away, I will come again, amen. He's gone to prepare a place for us. Glory to God in heaven, amen. He's gone to prepare a place for us in heaven, amen. But we got to have him in our hearts today. We got to have Jesus, amen, to get to that place in heaven, amen. Glory to God. I love him this morning, amen. Glory. Let's go to John chapter 10, amen, verse 1. Verily, verily, I say unto you that he that that he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold. Now, oh. now the sheepfold, the Greek word for sheepfold is palace, oh, amen. By the door into the palace, or the sheepfold, oh. but climbeth up some other way, amen. The same is a thief and a robber, amen. Yeah. Glory to God, you're not going to get into heaven unless you go by Jesus, amen. The, the, if, if, if you try any other way, glory to God, he's saying you're a thief and a robber. Glory to God. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Yeah. To him the potter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice. And he calleth his own sheep by name and leadeth them out. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. If you, want, if you want his sheep, amen, you'll know his voice. Amen. When he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before, before them, and the sheep follow him. 
for they know his voice. Amen. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. Amen. We got to know the voice of the Lord. Amen. So we can follow him. Glory to God. Jesus is talking to the Pharisees here. And he's telling them this parable, and they just don't get it. They don't understand. And Jesus is telling them the only way to get to the sheepfold or the palace is through the door, amen. And Jesus said, I am the door, glory to God. So you got to go through Jesus. If you're trying to climb up that any other way, amen, the same is as a thief and a robber, glory to God. The only way to heaven, the only way to heaven the only way to the kingdom of God is through Jesus Christ. Amen. He said in John 14, uh, uh, 6, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming to the Father but by me. Amen. That tells us right there that you got to have Jesus. you got to have Jesus to get to heaven. Amen. So if you're trying to get into heaven any other way, amen, than Jesus, or you're trying to even talk to God any other way than through yeah. Jesus, amen, we've got to have Jesus yeah. to communicate with God, amen, yeah. we've got to have Jesus, amen, you're as a thief and a robber, amen, Jesus said, I am the door, amen, by me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, amen, he didn't say he might be, or he might want to be, he said, I shall be saved, you shall be saved, glory Jesus was telling the Pharisees, all the ones that come before him, they are thieves and robbers, amen? And the thief cometh not but for to steal, kill, and destroy, amen? Jesus said, I come that you might have life, amen? Jesus came that we could have life and that we might have it more abundantly, amen? Jesus came and gave us, you and me, amen, life that we might have it more abundantly. Now, abundantly means exceedingly advanced beyond measure <laughs> amen if we can we can live a victorious life oh, beyond yeah. measure glory oh, to God if true. we get Jesus in our hearts amen Jesus Christ as our Savior Ooh. amen glory to God amen I, I look at it like this when we get when we get Jesus in our heart we're signed sealed and delivered amen oh, yeah. signed sealed and delivered glory to God Jesus has signed your name in the record book Glory to God, you're sealed till the day of redemption. And when Jesus steps out on that cloud, amen, one day he will, and when he does, he's going to deliver us to heaven, amen. And we'll be with God Almighty in heaven, glory to God, in the kingdom of God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd, amen. The good shepherd giveth his life for his sheep. I, I want us to look now, I want us to notice in, in verse 17 and 18 of that same chapter, glory to God. Come on, I, want, I want you to notice what he says. He says, therefore doeth my father love me because I lay down my life yeah. that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, amen. Right. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. Right. I have no power, I have I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. This commandment have I received of my Father. Amen. Them, them Pharisees thought they took his life. Amen. They thought they are going to send him to the cross and kill him, and they're taking his life. They didn't take his life. Amen. They didn't take nothing from him. Jesus laid down his own life for me and you, glory to God, that we could get saved from our sins. Amen. Glory to God. They didn't take nothing from him. Amen. He gave... He gave his life willingly yeah, he for us, amen. He, he became the supreme sacrifice for us, amen. Back in the Old Testament, they sacrificed animals and things like that, amen, for their sins, amen. But when Jesus came, he was that ultimate, ultimate sacrifice, amen, for sins. Jesus paid the ultimate sacrifice. He paid a debt he didn't even owe, amen. He was already in heaven with his father, Amen, and he come down here to this old earth, this old cheating, lying place. He came down here so that we could be freed from sin, amen, so that we could be freed from sin. Glory to God. That's just exciting to me. And, and, and he went through all he went through just so we could have that abundant life, amen, yes, sir. that abundant, exceedingly good life that we can have, amen. Jesus was the good shepherd. And he gave his life for us. Amen. There's, there's, there's another good shepherd in the Bible. Amen. In 1 Samuel 16. Yeah, come on. Now God was rejected, had, had rejected Saul because of his disobedience. Amen. From reigning over Israel. Amen. He sends Samuel to anoint another king. Come on, 
Amen. God sends Samuel to Jesse's house. Well, there's, Jesse has several sons. Amen. He has lots of sons. And, and the, uh, uh, they pulled the first one out. And, and the Lord said to Samuel, said, don't look at his countenance. Amen. Which means don't look at his well-being or his appearance or his height of statue. Don't look at his, don't look at his appearance. Amen. Don't even worry about what he looks like, how tall he is or how big he is. Amen. Amen. God has already refused him. Amen. Don't God don't see as men see. Amen. God don't see as men see. We look on the outward appearance. Amen. When we look at somebody, we look on their outward appearance, see what they look like. Amen. But God don't look like that. Amen. We think because they're tall or big, amen, or 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 they're they they're muscled up or they're a big man, he's the man, he can do the job. But that God don't look at that. God looks at the inside. Amen. God looks at their heart to see what they're really made of. Amen. Because you might you might act like something on the outside. Nobody else can tell what's going on because you're putting on this front. But God knows what's going on in your heart. God knows what's in there. You can fool everybody in the world. You can fool everybody, your pastor, your mom, your dad. You can fool anybody you want to. By this outward appearance. But the only one that knows the inward appearance is God. Amen. And you cannot fool God. Amen. Jesse made seven of his sons pass in front of Samuel. And Samuel said, The Lord hath not chosen these. And Samuel asked Jesse, Have you got any more children? Amen. Because the Lord, did, the, these are not what the Lord was, was looking for. Amen. Jesse said, I have one more. He's the youngest, and he's out keeping the sheep. Amen. He's a shepherd boy. Glory to God. Ain't that something? Glory to God. He's the shepherd boy. Now Samuel said for him, sent for him, get down there and get him, glory to God. We got to see him. And he sent and brought David, the youngest son, and the Lord, uh, 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 the Lord said, arise and anoint him, for this is he. Amen. God knew right then this was him. Amen. Get him anointed because this is our next king, glory to God. Now, David was just a shepherd boy. He wasn't big and mighty and, and, and wasn't strong and, and all built up. He was just a small shepherd boy, amen? But God could see his heart, amen? God knew what he was in here, amen? Just like he knows what you are in there. You can, you can be strong in all this or you can be low, low and poor or rich, and, but it don't matter what the outside shows. God knows what's in here. You can't hide what's in here from God. You can't hide what you're thinking from God, amen. Right. God knows it, glory to God. Glory. Amen. Now, now the three of Jesse's sons went, three of them went out to battle with old, uh, Saul, and, and they was going against the Philistines, amen, and, and Goliath. And Goliath was out there, and he was enticing them, amen. He was enticing them. Somebody come out here and fight me, glory to God. He said, I want to fight one-on-one -on -one with any of y'all, amen. And, 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 and if you know... If you know the story of David and Goliath, Goliath was a big man, amen. He was a huge man. He was a big, great warrior. Yeah. Glory to God, a warrior. Amen. And, 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 and Saul and his whole army had got afraid, amen. They seen Goliath come out there, glory to God, and they got all worried and scared, amen. And Now, Jesse had sent David to take up some food to the battle all right, for his brethren, amen. And David gets up there where the battle's going on, and he hears what Goliath is out there saying. He's out there bad-mouthing everybody, telling them to come on, send somebody out there. He wants to fight with whoever. And David says, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Amen. Who is this guy here talking about my God, glory to God? Who does he think he is? Amen. That should defy the armies of the living God. Amen. David knew his God. David knew his God. Amen. He knew who to call on. In the heat of the battle, glory to God. He knew who to call on in the heat of the battle, glory to God. Now let's go over here to, to uh, uh, chapter 17 and, and start in verse 33. And he says, And Saul said to David, Thou art not able to go against the Philistine to fight with him, for thou art a youth. Amen. And he is a man of war from, from his youth. So this is a big, big Goliath. Down here fighting little David, amen. That's that's just a youth. He's just a shepherd boy, amen. That just comes around every time. He's just that shepherd boy, amen. And David said unto Saul, 
Thy servant kept his father's sheep. Amen. And there came a there came a lion and a bear and took a lamb from the flock. Amen. Come on, and I went out after him and smote him and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by the beard and smote him and slew him. Glory yeah, to God. How many of us is going to go after a lion and a bear? Amen. I believe this shepherd was watching after his sheep, don't you? Yeah. Glory to God, I believe he, was give, he would give his life for his sheep. Amen. That's a good shepherd, glory to God. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear, and this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them. Amen. David said, this, this Philistine, old Goliath is going to be just like, I'm going to slew him just like I did the bear. Amen. Seeing that, uh, 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 seeing he hath defiled the armies of the living God. David said, Moreover, the Lord that delivereth me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. Yes, Amen. Sir. David knew who his God Amen. was. David knew who to call on when he, when he fought the lion and the bear. He knew who to call on when he was going to go against Goliath too. Amen. He knew his God would deliver him out of his hand. Amen. Now Saul gave David the armor, gave him all his armor, suited him up, amen, gave him a sword. But you know what David said? He said unto Saul, I cannot go with these things, amen, for, for I have not proved them, amen. David didn't know nothing about them things. He was just a small, young shepherd boy. He didn't even know how to use a sword, amen. Glory to God. He, didn't, he, had, he had never used them, so he had, in his own mind, he had never proved them, Amen. And David put on, uh, put them off of him, amen, and he, and he took his staff in his hand and he chose him five smooth stones, amen. How many of us know when you get a good smooth stone, yeah. if you throw it, it'll go where you throw it to. If you get an old arid stone that's got crooks and bends oh, in it, yeah. it's liable to fly off somewhere else. But David yeah. knew to get them five smooth stones, amen, out of the brook, amen. And his slingshot in his hand, amen, he went up against Goliath, amen. Boy, is that not good? And David to the first stone, thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield. Uh -oh. But listen to what David comes yeah. with, glory to God. I came unto thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, glory to God. God came with him, amen, and with his... And, and God took him and delivered him out of the hand. He, he took old Goliath down with one sling of that slingshot, amen. Yes, this big, tall, big, great, big, huge warrior, Goliath, Goliath, David was a little small shepherd boy, amen, that would, that would give his life for his sheep now. He slung that, he slung that shank, slingshot one time, hit him in the head, and that's not what killed the giant. No, come on, man. That, that's not what killed him. After he knocked him out with that slingshot, he ran up there and he pulled that giant's own sword out and killed him with his own sword, glory yeah. to God. That's how good our God is. He, he pulled his own sword out and killed him with his own sword, amen. That's, that was David right there, glory to God. If, if they, they come toward each other, amen, with, and, and David just killed him with that rock, amen. Knocked him out and then killed him with his sword, amen. What's your Goliath today, amen? What's in your life today that's gonna, that, that you're so afraid of, that you're, you know, it, it's just too big for you to think about, too big of a situation for you to go against? Yeah, amen, what is your Goliath today? There's something in your life that's scaring you. There's something in your life that you're worried about, amen? But you know what you got to do? Get Jesus right here. You got to get Jesus in your heart, glory yeah. to God. You gotta let you gotta let whoever you're against know you've got Jesus in your heart, amen. If you love Jesus today, everything will work out. I guarantee it, amen. Leave it in the hands of Jesus and it'll all work out, glory to God. If you're not saved today, I hope you find somewhere and 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 get on your knees and ask Jesus in your life, amen, because that's the that's the that's the, the best decision you'll make in your whole life, amen. That's that's the best decision you'll make in your whole life, glory to God. Give your life over to Jesus, amen. Just give up and say, I'm yours, Lord. Just do with me what you will. Amen. Glory to God in Jesus. Your life will start changing, amen. amen. Glory to God. Yes. Now worship with tradition as they sing a song. To be 
well known of me. Praise the Lord God Most High. I'm telling you what, thank you, tradition. Thank you so much for singing and praising and being obedient to the Lord. Yes. I'm telling you what, we've got to be obedient. Yeah. You understand? Yes. We've got to do what Jesus said to do. If we want to have what Jesus said we could have, then we must do what Jesus said to do. Yeah. It's just that simple. Do you understand? He said to praise and worship me. Well, then we ought to praise and worship him. He said to study my word to show yourself approved. Then by cracky, we ought to study the word and show ourselves approved. We ought to just simply do what the word said to do. But Brother Larry, I'm not having any success. Well, you know what? Then you're probably not doing what the word says. Let me just be frank with you. You've got to have patience in the word, stay in the word, be diligent, and keep Moving forward. Yes, sir. Amen. We've got to go. You know, sometimes you get knocked down. We all get knocked down. We all have setbacks. Yeah, the difference is we get up. Yeah. You've got to get up when you get knocked down. Amen. Listen at this. Let's just go on and get over in Isaiah chapter 60 yeah. and verse 1. Listen to what he says here. Now, he's let me just go ahead and tell you, he's talking about Jerusalem, but it, let me just go ahead and tell you right off the bat, we're spiritual Jews, okay? The Bible says we've been grafted in, yeah. so we have a right to everything that God promised Abraham. Abraham was a Jew. Yeah. Everything God, go over to Galatians chapter 3 and read it, and it'll explain the whole operation. Let me just read Isaiah 60. Arise and shine. Now, in my Bible, though, that first word arise, and then that second word shine, it's all in capital letters. Arise, yeah. shine. Yes. Yeah. For thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. I'm telling you, he's telling you to get up. Yes. Get up out of that miry clay. Get up out of that situation. Call upon the name of the Lord. He will reach his hand down and pick you up. He will dust you off and clean you up, and you can begin to live yes. for Jesus again. 
that as long as you are alive, there is hope for you. Let me tell you something. When you're in the ground and they're throwing dirt on your face, it's too late. That's right. Come on. But you're alive and you're breathing and you're living. It is not too late. Come on. Rise up and begin to call upon the name of the Lord for whom the sun sets free shall be free. Listen at, listen at this word. For Now this is going on today as I speak. Y'all know this is happening. For behold the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. It's everywhere. Just look, about, look out your window. You ain't got to turn on the TV or computer. Look outside down the road see what's happening in here. Gross darkness is on the people all over. But it don't have to be upon you. You're a child of the most high God. You've got royal blood coursing through your veins. Yes. Scarlet is your color. Jesus is your savior. Uh -huh. None of that applies to you. None of that can harm you. Rise up and begin to declare the works of the Lord. Lord, I don't know what to do. We'll call upon him and he'll say, Son, daughter, this is what I want you to do. Yeah. And then when you find out what God wants you to do, run to it yeah, yeah, with right. every vigor, with all diligence. Go yeah. after it. Yeah. Because oh. God said you could do it. That's why you can do it. Oh. Come on, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But, Come on. <laughs> remember what I told you? Yeah. It don't mean it to erase it out of the Bible. I'm not trying to change the word, but when he said, Bud, he said, listen, forget about what I just said. I want you to focus on what I'm about to say. You understand? Listen what he's about to say. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people, but the Lord. Yeah, yeah. But the Lord shall rise upon you and his glory shall be seen upon you. Yeah. Do you understand when you live according to the Bible? People will just look at you and go, you know, there's something about you. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. There's something about you. You, yeah. you don't carry yourself like other folks. Uh -huh. I know what you're going through. I know you, but I know you got a smile on your face. Yeah. I can uh -huh. smile in the midst of adversity because i got a Savior, yeah. bless God. Yeah. I've got a Jesus that said, come on and follow me. Yeah, Glory. Glory. He said, I'll show you great and mighty things you didn't know anything about. Yeah. He said, call upon me. And I'll answer you, and I'll show you great and mighty things that you didn't know anything about. We just don't call up on God. That's right. We want to. We want to take these hands right here. And we'll go. Oh, I'll fix it, and I'll do it, and, and I'll go over here, and I'll call these people. And yes, there's a certain amount of things we should do. Y'all know. Come on, now we're supposed to work, and we're supposed to live, and do what yes. we're supposed to do. But we're supposed to do it in the name of Jesus. Yes. You understand? In that name. Yes. I will go forward. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I will run depression. You know, depression tries to come up on me all the time. Yeah, it does. I, I'm nothing special. I, I, come on. I'm kind of like, feel like Paul. I'm the least of all of them. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Depression tries to come up on me, and all this man of stuff tries to come up on me. Yeah. But I don't let it stay there. I call upon the name of the Lord. You see, I've told you before, when you've got your hands up in the air and you're praising and worshiping God, depression, sickness cannot fall upon you. It cannot stay there. Rise up and declare the works of the Lord. Listen at this. Isaiah, lift up thine eyes round about and see. All they gather themselves together, they come to thee. Thy son shall come from afar and thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. Then, the verse 5, Then thou shalt see and flow together, and thine heart shall fear. Remember I told you that word means to worship. Uh -huh. Come on. And be enlarged because of the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. I'm telling you, you don't have to stay where you are. If you're down and out, Jesus Christ will lift you up. Yes. Yes. Lift oh, up God. the name of the Lord. Yes. Right. Lift him up. Get happy. Get yes. glorious. Glorify and magnify his name. He alone is worthy to be praised. Yes. All honor and glory and power belongs unto him. <laughs> All right, go with me to, uh, let's go to Ephesians chapter 5. See what happens over here. Now, y'all, listen to this. This is Ephesians chapter 5. We'll start in verse 14. Wherefore, he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. 
when you call upon the name of the Lord, immediately he dispatches angels to go down there and says, hey, the man's calling on my name. The woman is calling on my name. Rise down there and get them and begin to work on their behalf. Because they called on me, I'll answer them. Yes. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, arise from the dead, Christ. Christ shall give thee light. See, wow. now, now listen, once you've done this, now then he's going to tell us what to do here. Once you've come up and Jesus has lifted you up, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Yes. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. We already know that. We've looked around. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. How many times have we heard somebody say, well, if it be the Lord's yeah. will. Come on. Hey, what he, 66 books here gives you his will. Yeah. Amen. I ain't trying to be mean, but if you don't know what the will of God is, start reading the Bible. Yeah. The Bible tells you what his will is. Yes, well, do, does he want me healed? Yes. yes he does. does he want you prosperous? He wants you prosperous in every area of your life. That's right. That's not, yes, more. not just one. Money, I told you before, money's just a tool. Yeah. It ain't nothing to hold on and, and to treasure and, and to store up. Yeah. Money's just a tool. You know what the main tool, money, you want the main thing the money's tool for? To spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's yes. right. He wants you prosperous all over the place. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Verse 18, and be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but, remember what I told you about that? Now listen to this. Be filled with the Spirit. Oh yeah, come on. Be filled with the Spirit. That's the Holy Ghost, in case you didn't know. That's the Holy Ghost. Part of the Trinity of God. You got the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. He said, Be filled with the Spirit. Be filled with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. Be filled with the Spirit of the Living God. You know, you may have, you know, if you have trouble, some folks have trouble maybe with demonic forces and stuff, you may not know what to do. I'll tell you right quick how to run them all. You, you go right in the middle of that house and you throw your hands in the air and begin to praise and worship God. Son, they're gone. You ain't got to run in there and throw water into it. You begin to praise and worship God and let God handle it and he'll handle it. Then you can go to bed. Glory. Look at here. Speak. Now, I love this. Y'all get this. If you don't get anything else, listen to this. We're in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 19. Remember I told you about Isaiah, arise and shine for your lights come. Get up. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Tell me what depression can stay there. Tell me what can stay there. If you're walking along and you're muttering and you're singing and praising, worshiping God inside of you, tell me what can attach itself to you. Only good. Yeah. There ain't nothing but good that can attach yourself That's when right. you do what the Word says. Yes, I love this. Speak, we're, in, we're in Ephesians 5, chapter 19. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Yes, come on. Woo. Verse 20. Oh, giving thanks always for all things yes. unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Did you hear what he just said? Listen at this. If I got to take get this Ephesians 5:20 giving thanks always yes sir always al always means always yes, it does. That's right. glory uh -huh. give thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord yes. Jesus Christ glory. rise up today and get out you don't have to stay yes. where you are Hallelujah. there is a God his name is Jehovah yes, he's got a son God. named Jesus went to the cross the gift of love. Do you understand? Jesus don't do like we do. You know, we'll give somebody something. We'll get mad. I'll give it back. That's right. Well, uh, give back. That's, no, you gave it to me. Yeah, that's right. But I, I, it's mine. I want it back. It can't be yours. You gave it to me. Exactly. Then it wasn't a gift. It was under condition. Yeah. Jesus gave you unconditional yeah, love yeah. as a oh, gift. He said, God. here yes, is yes. salvation. Live forever. That's it's that's yours. Yes, sir. Exactly Listen. Right. When he died on the cross, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave. 
He gave it to the whole world. This whole world has forgiveness of sins, a home in heaven, healing, deliverance, power, glory, rest, peace, and comfort. The whole world has it all. The only thing is you've got to accept it. You've got to say, I believe that Jesus was born of a virgin, died on the cross, lived a sinless life, walked a perfect walk, went to the grave, went to hell, snatched the keys of death, hell in the grave, and then bolted up out of there yes, to be on the right hand of the Father. The very Listen, the very power that was used to raise Christ from the dead, do you know where it is? It dwells inside of you. Now what kind of power is that? I got just a minute. Back up Psalms 119. Boy, I'm telling you what. Glory. Hallelujah. Go to Psalms 119. Whew. We're going to read. Let me get back over here. Now. Y'all hang in there. Psalm 119, verse 33. Once you get up out of that miry clay, and once you get up and you, God sets you back on the path listening to this, Here's what we ought to be saying. Teach me, O Lord, the way of thy statutes, and I shall keep them unto the end. You know what he's saying? Lord, tell me what to do, and I'll do it until they put me in a grave. You understand? Give me under, he'll give you understanding. Give me understanding, I shall keep thy law. Yea, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Make me to go in the path of thy commandments, for therein do I delight. Do you understand what he's telling you? It's a joy to serve the Lord. It's a joy to follow God. It's a joy to do what the Bible says to do. Incline my heart unto thy testimonies and not to covetousness. Turn away mine eyes from beholding vanity. Quicken thou me in thy way. Establish thy word unto thy servant who is devoted to thy fear, which is worship. I'm devoted. I'm addicted to Jesus. You understand? I used to be addicted to this and I used to be addicted to that. I'm addicted to Jesus. I can't get enough of Jesus. Do you understand? That's all I want to talk about is the Lord and what he's done for me and what he'll do for you. Do you understand? Rise up this day. You don't have to stay where you are. Listen. Worship God. Call on him. He's ready. He's got his hands out. Come on, he's saying. Come on. Glory to God. Don't wait. Don't matter what anybody says. Whew. Y'all get ready and worship with Paul and new creation. And like I told you, throw your hands up in yeah. there and worship God. Yes. Guys, I love you. Praise God. It was seven weeks after Jesus the Messiah was crucified and rose from the grave. Forty days he stayed with us, teaching us about God's kingdom. Round you traveling, dark, deserted, or dim. Is there hope for tomorrow? Could you trust him?
creation i tell you what i don't know about you but i'm on fire for the lord jesus amen brother larry i appreciate that message you just preached i appreciate brother ricky's man i tell you what it just don't get no better than the word of god amen i'm glad today to know that i know the living king amen i know the living god amen my god's not dead He's alive, amen. He's alive and well, and he's alive and well and ready to do whatever we need him to do. It's kind of like Brother Larry was trying to tell us all we got to do is get in the Word of God and know what the will of God is. You see, we can know what God's will is if we'll just read his Word. Amen. Well, uh, uh, Brother Ronnie, is it God's will for me to tell somebody about Jesus? Sure it is. Glory to God. Just read God's word. He said, go ye into all the world and tell all the nations. Amen. Tell all the world about Jesus, my friend. We're, that's our job. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to tell people about Jesus because there's a devil in hell out there. My friend, let me tell you something. There's a devil out there that don't want you to know about him. He don't want you to know the good things. But my friend, the good news today is that that we got those that's going to tell you about Jesus. Tell you about somebody. Hallelujah. Right. <laughs> and his name's Jesus. Yes, sir. <laughs> his yes, name's sir. Jesus. Yes, uh, glory be to I don't know about you, but I'm just so glad. I'm just so excited <laughs> about what God does and about the way the Lord Jesus Christ works in our life. You know, you know you, you, me and Brother Larry was talking uh, there at the first of the, but, but before we ever started the broadcast about how that God, if we just let God first, if we just let God be in, if we could just, re, if we could just realize, amen, I quit praying a long time ago for myself. Yeah. And I started praying, God, let me do your will. God, let me do what? Because he said, seek ye first the kingdom of God. He said, I, I, I started praying, God, let me do your will. And did you know what? If we'll just do God's will, we'll just do what God tells us, God will take care of the rest of it, amen. Won't have to worry about it. Praise be unto the Lamb of God. But we got to have Jesus. we got to have him, friend. I love the name of this broadcast uh, of what the world needs is Jesus. we got to have Jesus. If you got your Bibles, and I know you do, hello. <laughs> Glory to the Lamb of God. I mean, how are you going to come to a, how you going to come to a battle and not have your sword? Glory to God. What you going to do? Huh? All right, in Galatians chapter 5, Galatians chapter 5, and I want to start with verse 1. The Bible says, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Behold, I, Paul, say to you that if ye be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised that he is a debtor to the whole law. Christ has become of no effect unto you. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, you are fallen from grace. Now what he's trying to say there is he's trying to say if you're trying to live by the law, amen, then, 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 then don't try to apply grace. Amen. Because if you're if you try if you're trying to live by the law, then if you have if you have have come against one of them, if you sin against one of them, one of the law, then you sin against all of it. He says, so if you're trying to if you're trying to live by the law, then forget about grace because grace don't apply. My friend, but now Jesus has came and we've got the grace of God in our lives. You say, Christ has become of no effect unto you whosoever you are justified by the law, ye are fallen from grace. For we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. For in Christ, for in Jesus Christ, neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision. But faith which worketh love, which worketh by love. He said, ye did run well. But who did hinder you? That you should not obey the truth. You did run well. Amen. In other words, you got in this thing and you started running. You see, he said, Paul said, Stand ye therefore in the liberty wherewith you are in Christ Jesus, which Christ has made us free. He said, 
Be not entangled again into the world. Amen. My friend, let me tell you something. If you went up there and you've already made things right with God and you're trying to live for the Lord, don't get back out there in that world and try to try. Don't try to mingle back with the world. Don't try to get back in there and say, oh, I'll just run around with my old buddies and I'll just go around the place. It's just because, hey man, I just want to be around my old buddies and I, my friend, it won't work. The devil will, will steal that seed right out of your heart and he'll put you right back in the middle of all them thing, old things you was doing. Put you right back in the middle. They said don't be entangled with that world no more. My friend, you're in Christ Jesus. If you're born again, child of God, you're in Christ Jesus. And my friend, if you're in Christ Jesus, then you got to be in Jesus Christ, my friend. Don't try to go back out there in that world and live in that world, but live the Lord Jesus Christ. Live what Jesus said to live. Hallelujah. How do I know, Brother Ronnie? How do I know what the Word said? How do I know what? Go read it. Amen. This is God talking to you right here. If you pick that word up, if you pick the Bible up, you pick the word of God up, you pick him up and you begin to read and you begin to study God's word. My friend, let me tell you something. You just pick that word up and you begin to read. Just read you a couple of verses there and then just lay back and just meditate on what you just read. And the Lord will begin to talk to you. He'll begin to let you know things, begin to show you things. My friend, we need to learn how to read the word of God. We we need to learn how to, how to read the Word of God and how to study God's Word because God's got some things that's in that Word that He wants us to know. If you want to know how to live, Come on. glory to God. Right, Hallelujah. Just pick that Word up. Yes, Amen. Get the Holy Ghost on the inside of you. But Larry, talk about that Holy Ghost. Amen. Get that Holy Ghost right down on the inside of you. Get filled up with the Holy Ghost of God. Get that word in you, my friend. You won't have to worry about how to live. Amen. The Holy Ghost, uh, the Jesus said it's expedient that I go away, and if I go away, I will send you another comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. Amen. He'll lead you, and he'll guide you, and he'll teach you into all truth, my friend. Let me tell you something. I'm talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost of God. I'm talking about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost of God, my friend. You don't get one without the other we got to have them all three but my friend I don't understand why we can't understand it amen we got to have the father we got to have the son and we got to have the Holy Ghost but my friend the only way we get to the father is through Jesus only way we get to the Holy Ghost is through Jesus my friend we got to have the Lord Jesus Christ we got to have Jesus it's going to take Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah Glory to God. Praise the Lord. I just get beside myself. It'll be all right, though. One of these days, I'm going to get to dance and shout. Amen, brother. I won't get tired either. Amen. I'm going to get to dance and shout. I'm going to get to shout the glory of God. That's all I'm going to do. Is I'm just going to shout and praise glory. Be to the Lamb of God. Praise the Lord. And just let God have his way just for ages and ages and ages and ages. Never get tired. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I tell you what we need to do. We need to realize, amen, that where we're going. We need to realize that we're going to a place where there's no more tears, there's no more tears, there's no more troubles. Amen. We're going to a place, my friend, where you ain't gonna have to worry about it. You ain't gonna have to worry about whether or not we're gonna make it out. Let me just read it to you over here. Let me just go over here and let you let, let me just read it to you, let you know where we're going. You see, if you're a born again child of why would you wanna miss this? Why would you want to miss it? John said in chapter Revelation chapter 21, he said, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. He said, For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there were no more sea. He said, I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of, from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. He said, And I heard a great voice of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall dwell with his people. And God him himself shall be with them and he shall be their God. I'm talking about the Lord God Almighty today. He shall be their God and God shall wipe away all 
all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away. I don't know about you, but Paul said, amen, whenever we become a new creature, amen, that we are a new creature in the Christ Jesus, my friend. You're a new creature in Christ Jesus. Those old things have passed away and behold, all things have become new. Whenever we make it, Sister Hall, whenever we get there, oh, glory be to the Lamb of God. Whenever we get there, my friend, there'll be no more pain. There'll be no more trouble. There'll be no more tears. My friend, there'll be no more sorrow. There'll be no more problems on this earth. Glory to God. There'll be no more tears. Friend, there'll be no more problems. You won't have to worry about it. You won't have to worry about this brother getting mad at you or this brother and sister getting mad at you. You won't have to worry about whether this is going to happen. You won't have to worry about it. I get one good thing about it. You won't have to worry about the light bill no more. Amen. Yeah, man. I said you won't have to worry about the light bill no more. You know why? Jesus said, I am the light. Glory, and Jesus has already went to the cross. He's already paid the price, and he said, I am the light. I can just see it now. Amen, there'll be no more darkness. There'll be no darkness up there, my friend, because Jesus is the light, and Jesus will be there, and the darkness cannot come amongst the light. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You ever notice that every time you walk into a dark room, you flip the light on, the darkness just goes away? Hey, man, there ain't going to be no light switches up there either. Glory to God, because there ain't going to be no need to, to, to get rid of the darkness. There ain't going to be no darkness there. Hey, man, the devil ain't going to be there. Glory to God. I believe it's going to be a whole lot like old, uh, like old Adam and Eve was there in the garden. Hey Amen. I believe it's going to be a whole. I don't. I don't know that. The Bible don't say that. I'm just saying. I, I just sometimes I like to visualize things. Yeah. Amen. I know you. Maybe maybe you like to visualize it the way you want to be. Yeah. But my friend, sometimes I like. I just like to visualize things. I just like to look at things yeah. and say, Hey, you know what? Maybe it's going to be like this. Yeah. One thing I do know, it's going to be good. Yeah. Whatever. One thing I do know, the Bible says that I have not seen, ear had not heard, right. either has it entered into the heart of man the things that God has in store for. The those that love him. Hallelujah. Yes, Glory to the Lamb of God. Praise be unto the Lamb. I don't know about you, but I'm glad to be a born again child of God. Yes. Paul said, stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us yes. free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. In other words, don't get back out there in that world. Don't get back out there in those things. Amen, my friend. Back out there in those things that you used to do. Friend, let me tell you something. Don't get out there in that world. Don't try to go back out there. Oh, Brother Ronnie, I can overcome it. I can go back out there and I can win the world. Let me tell you something. You better get Jesus and you better go where Jesus Jesus tells you to go. Hello? Because you're no match for the devil. We're no match. Amen, for the devil. We got to have Jesus. If we're going to, you see, Jesus died on the cross. He died on that cross that we could have life, that we could have it. More. You see, he, he won that victory whenever he come out of that grave on that third day. Whenever, that, whenever they went up there and that tomb was rolled away, that stone was rolled away and that angel sitting up there on that. I can see him now. That old angel sitting up there on that stone said back, he said, why ye seek the living among the dead? My friend, let me tell you something. We're serving a living God. We're serving a God that's able today to reach down and touch you. We're serving a God today that's able to reach down and heal your body. We're serving a God today that's able to help you in your financial needs. We're serving a God today that's able to help you in whatever trouble you may be. If you're hooked on drugs, if you're hooked on alcohol, my friend, if you're hooked on this or you're hooked on that, glory be to the Lamb of God. We're serving a great big old God today, a God God that will help you and a God that cares today. Yes, Amen. Yes, Not only will it help you, but he cares about you. Amen. Now over there in Numbers chapter Numbers chapter 14, we find out that the children of Israel begin to murmur against Moses. And the reason they begin to murmur against Moses is because old Caleb and old Joshua and Caleb had just come back from spying out the land over there. And they come back and they said, oh, yeah, they be big over there. 
You see, God told Moses, and Moses said, send, uh, he said, he said, Moses said, uh, send, send you some men over there. He said, see whether, he said, see whether it be big. He said, see whether they be strong or they be weak or they be few or they be many. He said, see whether it be good or whether it be bad. He said, well, see whether they live in tents or they live in strongholds. He said, see what the land is, whether it be fat or whether it be lean. I mean, you see, he sent them over there and old Joshua and Caleb come back and they said, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, Lord, it did like you said it was. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, Moses, it's good. It's bad. It's good. It's plentiness and it's for us. But we just, you know what? Joshua said, let's go get them. Let's go take it. Let's just go get it. But the other guys, they're like, no, 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 no. We can't get it. We can't take it. Oh, they're big. They're giants over there, and we can't take them. We can't take that. My friend, let me tell you something. If the Lord Jesus Christ said it's yours, you go over and claim it. You go over and get it. If God said it's yours, you get it because it's yours today. Hallelujah. We're not going to get to have time to get into that story today, my friend, but let me tell you something. If God told him, God, God did give it to them. I mean, God gave it to them. I mean, and once they went over and possessed it, they got it. I mean, if God gave it to you, you possess it, you take it. It's yours because you tell the devil to take his hands off and he can't have them. Hallelujah. Sister Hall, the gods give you your children. You tell the devil to take his hands off of them. Glory to God. Listen to me, friend. God's give you his children. God's give you your children. You tell the devil to take his hands off of them. You claim them for the name of the Lord Jesus. You claim them for God. God, they're yours. And God, I claim them for you. Hallelujah. Yeah, but Brother Ronnie, you don't know how bad it looks. You don't know how bad they're on drugs. You don't know how bad this is going. You don't know how bad it is. My friend, it doesn't matter how bad it is. It can't get too bad for God. It don't matter how bad it looks. It can't look too bad for God. But my friend, if we'll just learn, if we'll just learn to leave it in God's hands, put it in God's hands and leave it there. Let God be God. Amen. In our lives. You see, here's the thing that we don't understand. Here's the thing that we don't understand about the Lord. We don't understand that whenever we give him, whenever we say, Lord, you're Lord of my life, that means he's Lord of all of it. That means he's Lord of everything. Amen. When you say, Lord, you're Lord of my life, here it is. Here's my life. I gave you my life when I got saved. Here it is, Lord. You're Lord of my life. That means he's Lord of all of it. Yeah. Amen. So why can't we just let him take care of it? Amen. Let him lead us and let him guide us. Amen. If we'll stay in the word, if you abide in me, the Bible says if you abide in me and I abide in you, he said you can ask what you will and it shall be done. But my friend, we must abide in him and he must abide in us. Hallelujah. Friend, if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior today, I urge you to find you an altar. Call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and let Jesus in your life. And until our next broadcast, may God richly bless you. And what the world needs.